What causes seizures? Seizures can be caused by various factors that disrupt the normal electrical activity in the brain. They occur when there is a sudden and abnormal surge of electrical activity in the brain, leading to temporary changes in behavior, movements, sensations, or consciousness. Some common causes of seizures include Epilepsy Epilepsy is a neurological disorder characterized by recurrent seizures. It can have various causes, including genetic factors, brain injuries, infections, brain tumors, and developmental disorders. In many cases, the exact cause of epilepsy is unknown. Fever, febrile seizures. Febrile seizures typically occur in young children as a result of a high fever, often associated with an infection. They are generally harmless and tend to resolve on their own. Brain injuries, traumatic brain injuries resulting from head trauma, such as a concussion, can trigger seizures. Other types of brain injuries, such as stroke, brain tumors, or brain infections, can also lead to seizures. Genetic factors, certain genetic conditions can predispose individuals to seizures. Examples include Dravet syndrome, tuberous sclerosis, and certain chromosomal abnormalities. Infections, infections affecting the brain, such as meningitis, encephalitis, or brain abscesses, can cause seizures. These infections may be viral, bacterial, or fungal in nature. Metabolic disorders, in some cases, underlying metabolic disorders can lead to seizures. These may include disorders that affect the body's ability to process or utilize nutrients or chemicals, such as hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, electrolyte imbalances, or disorders of amino acid or organic acid metabolism. Drug or alcohol withdrawal, abruptly stopping or reducing the use of certain medications, alcohol, or illicit drugs can trigger seizures in individuals who are dependent on these substances. Sleep deprivation, prolonged sleep deprivation or significant disruptions in sleep patterns can lower the seizure threshold and increase the risk of seizures, particularly in individuals with epilepsy. Hormonal changes, fluctuations in hormone levels, particularly in women, can trigger seizures in some cases. For example, some women with epilepsy may experience increased seizure activity around their menstrual periods. It's important to note that not all seizures are associated with epilepsy. Seizures can occur as isolated events due to specific triggers, such as head injuries or acute illnesses, and may not recur again. However, if someone experiences a seizure or seizures, it's essential to seek medical evaluation to determine the underlying cause and appropriate management. Treatment for seizures typically involves medications, anti-epileptic drugs, to control or prevent seizures. In some cases, additional interventions, such as surgery, dietary modifications, for example, ketogenic diet, or neurostimulation techniques, may be considered depending on the underlying cause and individual circumstances.